number four in the 42 ideas on leadership comes to us from Sir John Whitmore, and specifically from his book, Coaching for Performance. We're going to be looking at the fifth edition published in 2017, and one of the models within that book, the GROW model, the GROW stands for goals, reality, obstacles and options, and will, or depending on the person, way forward. These fit together to form a very simple but extremely effective coaching tool for helping people achieve their goals. Okay, so a little bit of detail here is the end point is goals, your definition and clarity. Your reality is where you are now, the challenges you're facing, the options are solutions and possible obstacles, and then your will is your next steps. Broken down then, these goals are in four specific areas. Your first The inspiring one is your dream goal, the big why, where it is you would really like to be at the end of everything. The end goal is what Sir John Whitmore calls the big what. It's a clear target. It's what do you want to achieve more specifically. Your performance goals, well, these ones, unlike the end goal and dream goal, are 99% in our control. And they're on our way to achieving our dream and end goals. So these are more in our, our, our control. The process goals are completely in our control, 100% in our control, and we use a SMART model, which we'll look at in one of the other fresh uh, ideas on leadership, uh, is how to get specific goals along the way to achieving our performance goals. So the kind of questions you would ask in the goal section is, what do you want to achieve? What do you want to move forward on? How does success actually look like so that when you do achieve it, you know what it looks like. You have a clear image of success, not just a vague idea. And also, why do you want to achieve it? What is so motivating about this goal? This is normally connected to your dream goal, which is where you draw your inspiration from. The reality is looking at your current situation, what's happening now, what resources you have available. So therefore, you're a little bit realistic about what you have at your disposal at present. Um, why do you want to change? What is it about your current situation that's so problematic that you want to change it? Also, what kind of steps have you taken towards your goal already? Maybe you've taken some, and if they've worked, then you should continue along that line. And if they haven't worked, you have to change. So what you would be bringing a coachee when you're having these conversations would be objectivity. The options are When you've looked at what the goals are, you've thought about their current reality and situation, you start thinking about what kind of options they have to achieving their goals with the limits of the resources that they have at present in their reality. Uh, So you're looking at different options, you're brainstorming options. You then have to prioritize the options because normally you can't do all of them. And then you have to look at some of the obstacles on your way that will stop you achieving your goals. Uh, that would limit the options that you have and you have to think about how to overcome those obstacles as well. The final area then is will, which is the next step. What's the next step you're going to take to put those options into practice to start overcoming your current reality and achieving your goals? And are you really motivated? Are you really committed? And how can you get that commitment and motivation? Not only then do you have to think about the next steps, but you have to think about the next steps in terms of giving feedback to the coachee and also about how to measure their um, actions on uh, to, towards achieving these goals and also to help them celebrate their successes, to give them some ideas about how to celebrate their successes in achieving those goals along the way. So it's a very simple model, but it's a very effective tool for coaching, the GROW model, goals, reality, options and will. And that is number four in our 42 ideas on leadership. Comes to us from some Sir John Whitmore. Uh, it's coaching for performance it's the goal model